This week About Town's David Olshansky takes us behind the scenes of the locally produced independent film Inventors and Vendors with filmmakers Peter and Basil Kutsajorgas. Okay, let's roll sound. Scene 113D, take one. Light, camera, and... This is money, baby. I'm good. Action! Yes! Oh. It's Hollywood meets Irving. Peter and Basil Kutsajorgas were born and raised here. After going off to college, they're back home to produce and direct their first film. The title, Inventors and Vendors. How's your little inventing hobby? It's not a hobby. Do you get paid? It's about two young inventors and they fight the bastardization of their original ideas by the middleman and, and this crazy wackiness ensues as a result of it. This completely undermines the integrity of our invention. You're just holding it wrong. You can't do this! How far do you think you'd get without me? I guess he thought that um, uh, it would be good to, to go with a farce or a really like just crazy zany comedy, because you know we've kind of written you know various scripts, but then we're like for our first feature, what should we go with? I guess it just felt like you know we wanted to just tackle you know that big uh, leap of comedy and try and like actually write you know comedy, and uh, I think it proved to be beneficial for us as writers and as directors and as brothers. Peter and Basil are just two years apart in age, which made for an interesting dynamic on the set of the film. You know, not everybody has that instant feedback, but here we have somebody who's also your brother who you know is going to be really honest with you and tell you, you know, no, that's not funny at all. The things you're laughing at the most in the room are usually not the funniest things. We go back and forth, though. It's, uh, you know, I'd write a draft, send it his way. We'd find out what the essence of the story was, and that changed, you know, dramatically, actually from where it started. The brothers decided to shoot their first film last summer when Basil was back from college. The whole film was shot in just 20 days. I think it was like something 107 degrees like for a week every day and it was it was the week of the shooting out you know outside scene. It helps to have to do it in that pressure cooker scenario because we really had to choose what was valuable. We had to throw out a lot of stuff obviously once we got on location and uh, I don't know we uh, might have almost died, but, you know, it worked out in the end. Peter and Basil have a long history in the Irving community. When Peter came back from college, he found a job at the studios of Las Colinas. So shooting their first feature at home was a natural fit. I have a good base here. Uh, the studios of Las Colinas helped us out a lot. We were really, really um, impressed with the talent that we found here. Like, the, you know, coming back to Dallas and it's kind of like, you know, you hear like, oh, L.A., everybody's in L.A., you know, New York and all that. And then we came back and, you know, there are a lot of people, you know, who are like very, you know, have a lot of talent in, in this industry here. You all right? You're good, baby. Looking good, looking good. When you're watching the movie, you'll surely recognize a few places. One of the movie's main scenes was shot at Thomas Jefferson Park. And when a couple of young hometown filmmakers decided they wanted to make their movie in Irving, the community welcomed them with open arms. Yeah, that was pretty easy to do, actually. I was surprised. I thought with, par with the park, it would be like this complicated, long process. And we just called a few people, got the right permit, and we're good to go. So when can we go see inventors and vendors in the theaters? Be warned! So we recently screened it for the cast and crew. Um, we're now out to festivals. We're seeking distribution, you know, it's that phase. So we'll get it out there somehow, you know, and uh, build it from there. We have a small following here, of course, and then we'll expand from there, I think. Very nice. Reporting for ICTN, I'm David Olshansky. There can be no turning back. You will not pass go. You will not collect $200. Learn more about the film at inventorsandvendors.com.